good morning. It is June the 10th. It's about 10 o'clock. And we're back, or I'm back, Bible Grove this morning. Hey, check this out. We finally got our electrical. Now, doesn't that look like a something? That looks like a something. Yeah. So we'll get that inspected here in the next couple of days. Uh, Chris Lewis, our electrician, got it here. Got that done for us. Um, gravel's looking good. I mean, it, I don't think it's rained a drop since we got the gravel in. And, and when you consider how long it took to get gravel in because of all the rain, I mean, it was like November through April. It just seemed like it rained and I couldn't get any gravel back here. Uh, just afraid we'd get trucks stuck. And uh, now the gravel's been in and I'm waiting for the gr for the rain to come and, and you know, settle it down and, and kind of help pack it in and <laughs> we get no rain. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, that's just the way it works. Um, this is our back campsite. I'll show you that. Um, that's probably going to end up connecting. I think I say this every time, just want to give everybody an idea uh, of what we're building. But um, this will be the the road down to um, where some some of the first campers were sitting. We may just stack them in there um, all the way back instead of trying to build pull in places. Uh, these campers are not going to pull out and um, and pull in very often. So once they get here, they're going to kind of live here for a while. So it may be that we'll just be able to pull them down through there and find uh, the level ground. So what's on the agenda today? Well, today uh, we have got to get to the bottom, literally, of uh, the ditch witch and figure out where the leak is coming from. Um, the good news is it's not leaking when it's off. Uh, the bad news is it's leaking when it's running. Uh, which indicates that it is a hydraulic leak uh, that's under pressure. And I think it's in the hydraulic drive. Um, so I think it's going to be one of the larger uh, hydraulic lines. Um, maybe I'm just being pessimistic. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to pull this guy over there by the truck. I've got a lot of tools there in the truck. I'm going to lay a blanket under it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can take some of these panels off. Um, they're pretty easy to get to. The way these guys are built, they're just panels. You just let these things kind of just bolt right off and, and uh, you can get to it, hopefully. Um, and I'm going to do some investigative work, see if I can't figure out where those leaks are coming from. And uh, when I get the leaks fixed, um, I've got one up front here too in this. When I get those leaks fixed, I think I'm going to sell it. Uh, I've been really thinking about it, and maybe it's lived here long enough. It's a good tool. It's been a lot of help to me, um, but uh, I think maybe buying a, a mini excavator and maybe uh, renting the skid steer as I need to is enough. Um, I've got a friend that's got a little mini X. It's an HT10 um, that um, he uses to do a lot of the same things that I'm going to be able to use uh, or need to do here. Um, they're not very expensive. In fact, I could probably sell the ditch witch and um, nearly even trade for one. So that's a that's an idea. Uh, just don't know uh, what we're going to do just yet, but we're just going to either way, uh, sell it or keep it. Got to fix the hydraulic leak. So uh, we're going to work on that today. Man, it's a gorgeous day. It's nice and cool this morning. It is probably 75 degrees. Uh, it's going to get warm. I love that old tree. Look at that guy. See that guy? Yeah, isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? Beautiful tree. Um, we're going to do that. I'm going to snoop around here and see if I can find some other locations for campers to sit and uh, and just kind of mess around today. I'm not going to stay all day. Probably get out of here around 2 or 3 o'clock. I'll have to run into Lexington to pick up uh, hydraulic lines if I get it off. Um uh, that sounds very optimistic. Uh, so we'll just see. Um, I'll check.
Well, after much investigation, it's very difficult to see exactly where the leak is coming from. So I know that there's uh, a leak somewhere in this area. And my suspicion is that this small hose here, uh, it goes down, loops really tight and comes right back into this connection here. I hope you can see that. So that would be a very easy one to replace. Oh, I can't believe I said that. Um, that should be a very easy one to replace. Uh, but what I've done is I tried to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to use the machine a little bit more. I've wrapped that in a napkin. Um, and if it saturates that napkin, then I know that that's where it's coming from. So I'm going to get the chainsaw out. I did use the machine a little bit to come down uh, here and clear an area down in here where one of our campsites is going to be. And it's going to be pretty level without doing any grading work, which is awesome. Um, and what I will do now is I will just take a break and get the chainsaws out and do some uh, some cutting and clearing and uh, see how. Ran the machine for 20 or 30 minutes here doing a little brush work made a huge pile of brush over there from uh, an area down in the woods there that i'm clearing that's looking really good i don't know if you can see how level that is down there but it's gonna be a great little campsite um and now i'm gonna come back here and i'm gonna see if my napkin is saturated and it is so that so that is telling me that i have located the leak and so i'm going to replace this little hose right here take it off i'm going to run to napa uh in lexington they build hydraulic hoses uh, virtually while you wait um i'm hoping they can build this one quickly uh, and get me back on uh back moving again i gotta get some hydraulic fluid too and i'm going to get some lunch because it's about 12 o'clock well, all right, I'm in the truck and I'm hot and tired. Um, the hydraulic hose that, hose that is leaking uh, is actually a line that goes to a uh, hydraulic switch that powers some sort of an electric switch here. Uh, I'm almost certain that this is an electric switch that powers the beeping um, when you put it in uh, gear to move it. it. These things have this safety mechanism pretty sure that's what that goes. I followed this, uh, these two leads uh, as far as I could, and that's what they're headed toward, um, which doesn't work anyway. Uh, so what I did was I found where it originates from the hydraulic uh, pr pump, uh, the line anyway. Uh, and then I have taken that lead and doubled it back around uh, and terminated it back into um, the other end so it just comes out and back in so it's it's a feed and return and I have capped then the other end of this one with uh, with a plug and I have put uh, the hose on this one and I put a plug on that one just to kind of keep it clean just in case it doesn't run right without it um, but I believe that's what we're dealing with here and if that's the case then we don't need that in line anyway because it doesn't work and it's just one more hose that will probably leak down the road um, so I've deleted that anyway, so that's what we're going to do and see if that works. It is 
2.50 in the afternoon. We're about to get a little rain, I think. Maybe. I don't know. It feels like it may rain. Uh, I am finished. I was able to get a huge burn pile put together. Look at that guy. Massive burn pile. Um, that will go off like a kindling. Uh, let's go back. Let's go look at this. Um, the ditch witch is not fixed. Uh, they could not make my um, my uh, hydraulic line today. I will have to come back at another time. I bought a couple of cut uh, of things to uh, to uh, just block it. So look, I wanted to show you this. This is where we're going to keep this drive going along um, back into the woods down here. And there, this is really nice and flat down here, um, even kind of over in that way. And I think what we'll do is just uh, put a camper straight ahead back in the woods there and maybe one about where I'm sitting here. Um, and then Daisy chain those together with uh, the electric, the water, and the septic. We've got a really good area right over there that we can put four campsite septic area into. Um, and so that's gonna work out really good. Got a lot of cleared today. And so, um, yeah, so uh, I'm excited about, about getting some of that work done. Um, and it's a pretty easy pull in and pull out. Um, I'm not sure I will even gravel it. I may just mulch it uh, down the road um, just to kind of have a mulched path instead of having gravel everywhere. I'm not a, I'm not a real fan of the gravel. But um, this would be an area you would bring, come in the driveway here. This would give us an area for about four or five parking uh, parking spots here. Um, I'm gonna extend this eventually. We've got some stumps to clear out back there, but that's pretty flat. Uh, this area up here would be a good spot maybe for a campsite. So then uh, we would have four, like one here, one right down there is where we were, and then one back here, uh, three, and then the one where the, we have, and that'd be our first four. So I think we've got a good plan on our first four campsites. Okay, so I think we have a good plan for the first four campsites um, with those areas there. Um, state inspectors should be here Tuesday for the electrical. Then we will uh, call the uh, Lexington Electric engineer back out here to, to give us a final uh, mark on what trees have to be taken down and which ones they can take. And um, that's a pretty good summary of what's going on. Uh, the uh, ditch witch hydraulic leak hose is the little one that I thought it was, but I couldn't get it made today. Uh, I'll have to come into town again and do that later. It's going to be about 40 bucks. It's pretty cheap. It's not that big a deal. Uh, so, um, but that'll fix that. And then I took some pictures of the ditch witch today because I may put that sucker on Facebook Marketplace and see if we can get it sold, uh, get our money back out of it because it's uh, predominantly the biggest piece of what we're using it for is done uh, or will be soon. So, um, so that's the next plan. So I'm headed home back to Franklin. Uh, it's a good day. Whew, I look like I'm hot. And uh, that's the update from Bible Garden.